The Citizens Coalition for Change Vice President Washwen Nguwe has apologized to the electorate for disputes around issues of candidate selection in the party. He said the Nelson Chamisa led main opposition party and its supporters needed to work together to remove Sanupiev from power. Nguwe made the remarks while addressing party supporters at Sidziwe in Caesar class rally in Matebelele in South Province recently. Triple C supporters in the Matribeland region complained bitterly over the imposition of candidates they described as outsiders at the expense of locals. The supporters complained about the sidelining of senior party leaders such as Mwe and co vice president in diabetes in major decision making processes. Of course, yes, we saw that the candidate selection process of the Triple C ended in a chaotic manner with some feeling that there was a high level of candidate uh, imposition and also others showed that the top press had been sidelined the likes of tendibility and washman washman had been sidelined people wanted to see these faces but nelson chamisa and the triple c yet a new stance they called the new stance new faces new beginning they said they wanted new blood even in parliament new blood to take up major posts and also there was a strict vetting process that they that, that they followed which also looked at the hits at the history of the soldiers of the foot soldiers to see whether or not you have betrayed the struggle before and also whether or not you are a christian and also it's uh, it's sought to find out what contribution you would have made in the uh, struggle over the years so right now people are complaining over that and are saying that and uh, nelson jamisa took matters into his own hands to impose candidates to 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 to, to set aside or to to to, to sideline the likes of tendai bt and Rochman Nguwe and many others that fell by the wayside but Nguwe in his recent speech apologized over all these issues and said the party now needs to work together to remove our Zanupia. Nguwe said whatever might have angered you i apologize i apologize on my own behalf i apologize on my own on behalf of my president nelson chamisa we will resolve this in future he added that there was need to face sanu pf in unity even if we fight as a family when we reach a point of facing an enemy we unite and charge at each other after chasing our enemy away so i appeal to you that we forgive each other and work together there is no need to worry over who you want to represent us. Even though this year you wanted to send Dewey, but he did not become a candidate. In the future, you will send him as well. So his message is simple, that we need to unite and face ZANU-PF head on. Then after facing ZANU-PF, we will need, we will then sort out our issues, we will sort out our grievances. People take for granted uh, five years. Five years is, is, is such a short time that you won't see it passing, uh, especially in Zimbabwe. Five years, very soon we will be in 2028. So if your candidate uh, didn't find the chance here in 2023, you can still get a chance in 2028. But now there's need to remain intact, to respect the party procedures, to just uh, accept fate as it is or else you might even uh, destroy your chances of participating in 2028. So it's best to unite the party, it's best to support those who, who, who won in the candidate selection process in the hope that after five years, you will also get your chance to participate in the election.